The Wallamai pine was found back in 1994 by uh, a National Parks ranger, David Noble, who was walking out in the Wallamai National Park near the Blue Mountains, abseiled down this big, deep sandstone gorge and stumbled across this rare-looking plant. He took some foliage back and not long after that, they uh, realised that they found a very rare plant and that's where the whole Wallamai story started. They have got so many very interesting factors that you don't find on the common, ordinary, everyday plant. The polar ice cap, the male cones, and the female cones, which are all wind pollinated. The trees are monoecious, meaning they have both reproductive organs on the one plant. Here we have a female Wollemi seed. This is a it's normally pollinated on the tree and I'd cover it in a stocking to catch the seed so I don't lose all the seed. It flakes apart inside these little bits here we would find a little seed. Oh, here's one right here, there. often quite small. And from that I put it in the fridge to stratify it, which is to initiate the, the cold spell, which is a, what normally happens. And then from the fridge, which I'd leave in the fridge for about two weeks, it goes onto a heat bed. And this heat bed runs at about 27 degrees. It can go from 25 to 30. And then I, I come out each morning and I'll, I'll mist them and I'll keep the cover on them to keep, keep it warm and humid inside. The wool of my can take from two weeks to six months to germinate. So when you see this lot of seed here that I put in Christmas time last year, you can see some of these plants that are quite nice with the new foliage. And then you can see ones that I've only just pricked out that are very, very small. And believe it or not, that is off the same batch that was all planted at the same time. Keep the cover on the seeds to keep them nice and warm. With the, the Wallamai seed, normally you only get about 10 to 20% successful viable seed out of the one cone. And here we are at the next stages of the Wallamai pine. The second year baby's here, right up to this lively specimen, three years old. And, well, look at that, that's due to be potted up into a seven inch pot very shortly. It wouldn't be unusual to see me out here at two o'clock in the morning. Just to check on everything if it's a windy night, just to check on all my little plants and just to have some nice quiet time by myself. It's a labour of love and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs>